हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड नॉर्मली इन एवरी इंटरव्यू एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द फ्रेशर इंटरव्यू दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज आस्ट इन ईच एंड एवरी इंटरव्यू एंड दिस इज रिलेटेड टू डेटा स्ट्रक्चर सो इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर एनी इंटरव्यू so basic thing is like you should be prepared with all the different data structures for what purpose they are being used how they are used and you should know like when to use which data structure so the normal question if you are going for an interview what is a data structure and again where are data structure primarily used so first thing is like you should know like where you are going to use the main main thing is like suppose you are going for a database handling data structure plays a very important role if you are going for any numerical computation again data structure will be playing a very important role operating system design compiler design artificial intelligence any statistics so for all these purpose data are organized i mean it is basically for storage of the data and for handling of the data so it's very important that you should be able to explain data structure in very detail the next question that is normally asked about searching so again searching is also very important and what are the different algorithm through which you are going to implement the searching when to which use uh, which searching that is very important so normally the question is asked like what is the difference between linear search and binary search so again as the name suggests linear search the items are stored in array and searching can start from any of them so one by one the item that needs to be searched it is compared with each and every item of the array until we are getting the desired item so once it we get the desired item our search algorithm again we will get the item so if i talk about the worst case scenario the worst case scenario for linear search will be that the item may be present on the last and if we are starting our search from left end so we have to go to the nth n item so the complexity will be o n there is a possibility that the item can be present at the at the first place so in that case it will be o n so this is case for linear search where we are searching the item one by one until we reach to the location where we are finding the item so it may be third fourth fifth but worst case is that we have to go from left to right until we reach the last element so this is a linear search then if you talk about binary search again binary search is the again we want to improve the complexity we want to reduce the time that it takes to search a particular item so the upgraded version of linear search is binary search now there are some conditions in linear search there is no condition you start from the first element you start searching the element until you reach to the last item or until you reach to the item that you want to search but in case of binary search the first and the foremost condition is your list should be in sorted manner without sorted you cannot implement binary search so again it is breaking your list into two part first of all it should be in sorted manner then you will be breaking your list into two parts the item that needs to be searched it is first compared with the middle item if it is greater than the middle item we will be going to the second part of that list if it is smaller than the 
middle item we will go to the left part of the list so again if it is greater than we will move to the next part of the list and again we will break it so that is why the time taken to search an item in binary search is n by 2 as compared to linear search so this is the basic difference and the only thing is you have the array first of all you need to sort it and once it is in sorted then you are going to implement the binary search so this is the basic difference between linear search and binary search we will be keep we will keep continuing discussing other uh, data structures like list queue but again the concept should be clear where to use linear search what is the difference between linear search and binary search and for this it's very important that the concept of array should be very much clear so this is the first video for data structure if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching this video